Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the Sudoku Tudes set of puzzles. This is the final puzzle in set three, and this is the one that broke a few of my testers. This is Cruciform, and this is a quadruples puzzle where I remember when I created this a couple of months ago, I was trying to play oh, pardon me, trying to play around with the concept of hidden singles um, and try and hidden singles are things that I really struggle with. And I wanted to sort of bring them to the forefront by putting hidden singles on quadruples and then have those be the things that people were looking for. So I don't know how successful I was with this. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Um, and I'm hoping that people will let me know in the comments what they think of this series and the pack as a whole and all of that. So um, looking forward to seeing that. So let's have a look at Cruciform. What are the rules? Of course, there'll be a link below to where you can attempt this puzzle for yourself. So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then there's the quadruple circle. So digits in a quadruple circle must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. So there must be at least one, two, and at least one, three around this quadruple. There must be at least one, eight in those four cells. There must be at least one, eight, and at least one, nine in those four cells. There must be at least one, six, and at least one, seven in those four cells. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the concept of hidden singles, there must be a two in those four cells, but this two sees both of those cells, this one in the box and this one in the row. So this has to be the two. Similarly, um, I think this, uh, we can do this in other ways, in other places. This six sees that in the box and that in the row. So this has to be the six. Um, this four sees this cell in the column and this one in the box. So this has to be the four. Uh, this eight sees this one in the box and this one in the column, so this has to be the eight. Now, with this being a six, I can't put a six in either of those cells, so this becomes the six, and I have to put five in one of those two. Um, there are other things to do here, and I'm trying to remember what they all are. Um, doo -doo -doo. So this eight, of course, means I can't put eight in either of those two, so that becomes an eight. And... We now have fours, so fours look down by Sudoku, putting four in one of those two. And this is one of the first tricky spots of the puzzle, because four on this quadruple, this four means four is in one of those two cells. Now, you normally don't want to pencil mark across boxes, and I won't keep this, but four has to be in one of those two cells for this quadruple, which means this can't be the four, and this has to be the four. So I'll remove that pencil mark. But now I still need to put seven around this quadruple, so this becomes the seven. Now, with this nine looking down, nine has to be in one of those two cells, and the nine looking across means nine in this quadruple can't be here, or I couldn't put nine in box eight. So this now has to be the nine. With that nine sees both of those cells, so this has to be the nine around this quadruple. Okay, we're making some progress. And these are sort of the opening moves of this puzzle. Um, seven is in one of those two now. And this seven is looking across saying, that's not the seven, that's the seven, which means seven is in one of those three. But we've got the same trick as we had with the four with this seven. This seven is looking up saying seven can't be in one of those two cells. So around this quadruple, seven is in one of those two. So this can't be the seven, which means this has to be a five, seven pair. I'll remove that now because I don't want to pencil mark across boxes if I can avoid it. Eight and eight means eight is in one of those two. 9 and 9 means 9 is in one of those two, but these pointing 9s means that's not the 9, that's the 9. And now, um, this 9 says 9 can't be here, this 9 says 9's not there, this is an 8-9 pair, and these are 1, 2, and 3, with 3 looking down saying that can't be 3. Okay. Okay. Oh, this four says that four can't be in those. That's the four, which means three has to be in one of those two. That three is looking down saying that can't be the three. This is a one, two pair. That's the three. And now in, oh no, I've already got a three in this box. Okay. Now this is where we start getting to trickier hidden singles, if I remember correctly. 
So five can't be in any of those. The five seven says five's not in any of those. Five is in one of those two. Now, one trick that I remember vaguely putting into this is these cells are a bit restricted because these cells see both of those. So I can never put five in either of those cells. So this cell, for example, can't be one, two, it can't be three, it can't be four, it can't be five, because five, if I put a five here, I couldn't put a five around this quadruple. It's the same thing, but in reverse. It can't be six. So this is seven, eight, nine. This one, however, could be one. So this is one, seven, eight, nine. It can't be two, three, four, five, six but it could be seven, eight, nine. Does mean two is in one of those two. Similarly, one is in one of those two. So these are a bit restricted. They can't be, uh, well, hang on, what have we got here? One, two, four, and five. That one can't be a five. Now we know four is in one of those two, but I'm not sure I can use that yet. Seven is in one of those two. Now there are hidden singles up here and I'm trying to remember where. This cell is very restricted because it can't be one, two, it can't be three because there has to be a three in one of those two because there's a three pointing down here. Basically we've got threes on quadruples. So this can't be one, two, three, four. Can, it can't be five, it can be six. It can't be seven, it could be eight, it can't be nine. So where's nine in this column? Nine has to be there because I can't put nine there because of that nine. I can't put nine in any of those. So what are these four digits? Well, hang on, Where's if this is a nine, where's three in this column? Or three around this quadruple, I can't put it in any of those. That's a three, and this is now one, six, eight, and that's not an eight. One is in one of those two. Ah, this can't be an eight, because there's an eight here, which puts eight on this quadruple in one of those two. That's the six, that's the one, that's the eight. And that one is now looking across, and where can I put one around that quadruple? The one has to be there. We know, I, oh, and where is the eight around this quadruple? This eight is looking up saying not there, that eight is saying not there. I could have written that in ages ago. Still have to put three in one of those. Four is in one of those. This is a triple. This is one, two, three. There's no one there. There's no one there because of the one looking down. Nine in this box. This nine is saying not any of those. That nine is saying not there. This is a nine. So these are three, five, seven, and eight. Well, there's no eight in any of those. Eight is in one of those two. These are three, five, seven. So the two in here has to be in one of those two. Oh, where's the three around this quadruple? It has to be there because that's a nine, which means that's not the three, that's the three. Which means neither of those are three, one of those two is a three. So these are now two, five, and seven to complete the row. This is a quadruple, four, yeah, seems to be able to, oh, four is in one of those two. Five, not sure. Six, well, seven is in one of those two. Not sure about six. So this is only five or six. Seven is still in one of those two. 
five is in one of those two. The, oh, I've got the nine. These are one, two, three, four. There's no one there. So six is in one of those two. Because where do I put the six in the box? This can't be a four because four is in one of those two. That's not a four. Hmm. Okay. As I said, this one was considered to be quite tricky. I'm not disagreeing with that. Okay. Still need to put a five in one of those and a seven in one of those. Is that it though? This was a puzzle about hidden singles. I know eight is up here. What is this quadruple? One, two, five, eight. Well, there's no one or eight in there. This is a two, five. So there's no two, five in those. These are a one, eight. And the eight makes that the one and that the eight. The one, I'm not sure, but this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no five there. This is only four or six. So five is in one of those two. Two, five. So this is a triple. Four, six, and seven. Hmm. No seven is in one of those two, though. Um, one is down here, one is in one of those two, one in this column, no, it's in one of those two. I'm doing my scanning fail again. What digits haven't I placed off? I've got eight up here. Eight is in one of those two. Eight is in one of those four. Nine is up here. Nine is in one of those two. And nine is in one of those. This is not a nine. Three is in one of those two. Three is in one of those, one of those. I remember this collapsing faster than this at this point. I really do. Two in this box. I really remember this collapsing faster at this point. The six is looking up, taking six out of those. That's a four, seven. That's a six. The four, seven takes seven out of there. It takes four out of there. And now I, where's the four around that quadruple? That's the four. This is a five, six. 
And the six is looking across, making that the five and that the six. The five is now looking across. Where can I put five around this quadruple? It can only go there, leaving only that as the two by pencil marks. The five looks across, making that the three, making that the seven, and seven comes out of there, making that five, eight. The five, eight looks down, making that the two, which takes two out of all of those. This has to be the two. This is a one, three pair, making that the four, which takes four out of those. The two makes that the five. That was something. The two makes this the one and this the two. The one makes this the three and this the one. The two looks across taking two out of those. So this is the five, this is the one, and this becomes a two, three pair. That becomes a six. That's some progress. The five looks down making that the seven and that the five. This is a triple, two, three, and four. There's no three there. So let's relook at this box. Maybe not. Four, five, six, and seven. Well, the six is looking up, making that the five. So this is two, three, or four, and it's not two or three. So this is the four, and this is a six, seven pair. But the four looks down saying, that's not the four. Okay. Oh, I need to put a seven around that quadruple. So that's the seven, making that the nine and that the two. The seven looks back, making that the four and that the seven. The four looks across, making that the two, which makes that the three and that the four. The three looks down, making that the two and that the three. The nine looks down, making that the eight and that the nine. These are one and five, and the one looks up, making that the five and that the one. This is all about hidden singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is the nine, which takes nine out of there. Um, what are we missing in this column? We can take one, two, we can take eight out. So that's the seven and that's the one. This box is missing a six and an eight. And we can use that seven to make that the six and that the seven. The six looks across to make that the eight and that the six. And the eight looks back to make that the five and that the eight. And that is how you solve cruciform. Now, I knew what I was looking for on this puzzle. I consider this to be quite a tricky little um, uh, quadruples puzzle. If this had been put into a quadruples pack, I think this possibly would have been an easy hike because it does use some quite tricky little um, uh, quadruples tricks. But I really like this puzzle. Um, I think this is a nice puzzle that uh, uh, does the um, some hidden singles. I I think the hidden singles in this area, particularly in column six, are quite tricky to spot and might trap some people. So we'll see how it goes. But I really do like this puzzle and I hope you do too. I'm very interested in people's feedback on the Sudoku Tude set of puzzles and what they think of them. Um, I hope they enjoy them. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>